everyone, I'm Nadine and welcome to Bookish Nook. So today I thought I would do the burn, rewrite, reread, tag, challenge sort of thing. So I have my bowl with my cards on it. I have enough in here for four rounds, but um, more than enough for four rounds, but not enough for five rounds. Just to keep it interesting. So here we go. Alright, so we have Angel Fall. Uh, the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Oh, God. And I am number four. Okay, so here are my three choices. Uh, these are some of my favorites. Okay, so let's get the hard one out of the way first. Burn. I absolutely loved Angel Fall. It's probably one of my favorite books this year so far. So I definitely can't burn that. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer is such an awesome psychological thriller that I can't do that. So it's going to have to be I am number four. I'm sorry, Pitticus Lore, but I'm going to burn this one. I think that I am going to reread The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer because I think that Michelle Hodkin did a fantastic job writing it and incorporating all the clues and stuff. And then rewrite Angel Fall because although it was a fantastic... Uh, plot and everything. I don't think I remember that the writing style was like really awesome or really shitty. I just That's it. So on to round two I have Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire The Maze Runner by James Dashner And City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Okay, so here we go again. We'll start with the hardest one once again. So Burn, Beautiful Disaster is one of the first new adult books that I read. And it just captivated me completely. So I definitely can't burn it. City of Bones, that story has a special place in my heart. So I can't burn that one either. So I'm sorry, James Dashner. I'm going to be burning The Maze Runner. I think that I'm going to rewrite City of Bones. I know Cassandra Clare's writing, especially in the first book, isn't all that great. It's the story and the characters that really um, captivated me. Actually, no, 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 no. I can't rewrite this because I laughed a million times when I read this. So I'm going to reread this and rewrite Beautiful Disaster because there's too many lines in City of Bones that are just hilarious that I loved. So yes, reread, rewrite. Oh. On to round three, we have uh, Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. So following the last few rounds, I'm going to start with Burn and I'm going to have to burn Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. As much as I like this book, The Hunger Games and A Game of Thrones is just um, some of my favorites. So I'm sorry, Abby Lines. I'm going to have to burn you. Rewrite and reread. Well, this is really tough. Because The Hunger Games has one of my all-time favorite books, Catching Fire. I've reread that book so many times I've lost count. It's one of my absolute favorites. So I think I'm going to reread The Hunger Games and rewrite A Game of Thrones. Because at times I really don't like the writing style in this book. And A Hunger Games is just one of my absolute favorites. So reread, rewrite. For my last round, I have four pieces of paper in here. So which book will be spared? Alright, first up we have The 100 by Cass Morgan. Second, we have Alienated by Melissa Landers. All right, one of two. Which one will be spared? Here we go. And Flowers in the Attic. And which book was spared? Veronica Mars' $1,000 tan line was spared. Last round. So we'll start with the hardest one. I'm going to have to say, I'm sorry, V.C. Andrews. I am burning Flowers in the Attic. I remember reading this a long time ago, and 
Although the story was sort of intriguing, it wasn't that great. So, for rewrite and reread. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Because both of these books have aspects that could have been um, elaborated on by rewriting them. So I, I think I'm going to go with Rewrite for Alienated by Melissa Landers because I really wanted to know more about the aliens and it really kind of just throws you in the story without giving you much backstory and I don't like that. So Rewrite Alienated and reread The 100 by Cass Morgan. Despite the few issues I have with this book, I think it did a better job of alienated, of situating the reader in the story. So, reread, rewrite. All of those were the books that I burned, rewrote, and reread. Uh, you should definitely do this challenge tag, whatever it's called, because this is hilarious. I love seeing people's thought process and which books they enjoy over the other, even though they're some of their favorites. Thanks for watching. Bye.